your mark. Get set. Go! Send them over there. Ah, there's nothing like fresh squeezed fruit to get you going in the morning. But one of these two teams is going to put the squeeze on 25 bananas and control of the game, while the other one is just going to get wrung out. A closer to that line, but now the red team is moving fast and furious. You may want to move some of those sponges out of the way after you use them. It's certainly your choice. Keep sitting on them, and who's going to get past that line first? It looks perhaps like the blue team did it. The blue team did it right over here. You can stop right there. We have a winner. Let's go play some family double dare. It's family double dare. And now, here's your family double dare host, someone who can hit the open man on the give and go every time, Mark Summers. of Family Double Dare. All right, great crowd again here in the Nickelodeon studios in Orlando, Florida. We have great teams and a little surprise that we will uh, introduce to you in just a matter of moments. But the team to my left is dressed in red. They are, they're always dressed in red. Please welcome the Redskins. Yeah. And if you watch uh, very quickly there, you will notice that there is a gentleman who uh, perhaps doesn't belong in that family. Uh, gee, he just kind of stood out, didn't he? Well, he is a celebrity. He is uh, one of the stars of a great show on the ABC television network called Family Matters. Please welcome Jaleel White. He's our captain. Yay. And with him we have Linda. Linda's on that team as well. And we also have uh, Jason and uh, Jan. And uh, Jaleel, welcome to Family Double Dare. I understand that uh, you've been wanting to do this show for a while, huh? Yes, I have. Been. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been watching us? You... I've been watching you guys for about, let's say, two or three years. Oh, that's good. Tell me what's going on in Family Matters this season. Well, Family Matters is going to be wild this season. We've got a lot of crazy stuff with Laura and I. Uh, I won't break any surprises for you, but uh, it's definitely going to be wild this season. Good. We'll be watching. Uh, I'd like to talk to our family here just for a second. I understand that uh, you're a, uh, a U.S. Marshal, sir, is that? Right. Deputy U.S. Marshal. And... Uh, Dangerous from time to time? Uh, it can be, yes. Yeah, well, okay. We won't try to do too many dangerous things today. No money just yet. Uh, team to my right, uh, they're dressed in blue. They have $25. They are called the Gadgets. <laughs> and if you look quickly there, there's also a member who doesn't belong uh, to that family. Uh, she is one of the stars of a series also on ABC. You know her as DJ on Full House. Please welcome Candace Cameron. <laughs> On that team, uh, the three other members are Julie, Adam, and Simon. Now, Candace is a veteran of this program. You did it, uh, what, two, three years ago? Yeah. And are you taking some of that experience and applying it to uh, today? Sure am. I was, me and Julie, I was trying to give him a couple of hints, you know, on how to do some of the obstacle courses. <laughs> Helping the competition. What a nice person. <laughs> now, you did a movie recently that uh, was on NBC, right? Mm hmm. Julie and I were both in it. Both and it's of you. called Lights Out. It's NBC Movie of the Week. And what's it about? Um, a bunch of kids in a camp and their whole summer and what they went through. Okay, so. sounds good. Now, Adam, you have a sister, right? Yes. And what's her name? Eve. So we have Adam and Eve. I like that. <laughs> That's fun. Do you get a lot of kidding about that? Yes. Harvey, do you remember a series on, it was, I'm going to tell you how long ago this was. It was Howard Duff and Ida Lupino called Mr. Adam and Eve. Do you remember that? <laughs> Oh my! You don't know, anybody here remember really that old. series? Am I the only person who remembers that series? Unbelievable! Oh my! Okay, well I think we better carry on because that series was in the what? Probably late 50s, I think. How old is this guy? Uh, let's talk about the rules on the family double dare. I'm going to be asking you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can uh, dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful because they can always double dare you back for how much, Harvey? Up to four times the dollars then. Then uh, what happens? Oh, they either answer the question or we hope that they go on and take the physical challenge because that's the rock that we build this show on, that's this it. physical challenge. Do you remember Howard Duff? Howard Duff. Yeah. Um, my parents told me about him, but I... Uh, <laughs> How I really about remember. Ida Lupino? Remember Ida Lupino? Thank you so much. You know, it, Simon is helping me. He remembers these people. <laughs> Here's your first question. For $25, which of the United States is the smallest? Rhode Island. Rhode Island is right. At $25, we uh, automatically have lots of money or not a bad amount on the Gadgets team. Adam Curry, Martha Quinn, and Julie Brown are TV personalities on what cable network? Or you could dare them. MTV? Yes, you are right. Uh, add another 25. MTV. 
Julie, you probably don't watch a whole bunch of MTV, do you? No, no. You watch VH1? <laughs> no. What do you watch? <laughs> I don't have time. Oh, don't have time. TV. What do you do? I'm a teacher, and I have three children. So, you're a busy lady. Yes. All righty. Here's a question for you. Johnny Rivers sang the theme to what mid-60s TV series? Or you could dare them. Secret Agent Man. Yeah, that's right. Secret <laughs> Agent Man. <laughs> I remember that show. Sally Field won her first Oscar for which of the following films? Is it Norma Ray, Sugar Ray, or Punchline? Candace. Norma Ray. Norma Ray? Boy, they're just taking control and won't give it up. $125 for the gadgets. Hi, Jaleel. How are you? Hi. <laughs> We're going to get to you sooner or later. They'll mess up. Maybe this next one. What TV character was described in the theme song as the mountaineer who barely kept his family fed? It's worth $25 or you could dare them. Need an answer. Need an answer quickly. Jed Clampett. You say it. Jed Clampett. You are right. It is Jed Clampett. Yes, Jed Clampett. I, I heard them whispering it. They just didn't want to say it. I guess. Now, who knew that? Did you know that, Adam? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been watching too much TV. Okay. In October of 1969, the music world was abuzz with the question: Is Paul dead? To whom were they referring? Paul McCartney? Yes, it is Paul McCartney. $175 for the gadgets. And uh, we have no money yet for uh, the Redskins. Jiminy Cricket first appeared in what movie? It's worth $25. would bring you to 200 or you could dare them. What was his first movie? Yeah, you're right. Okay, there, yes. there. Oh, Pinocchio? Yes, it is Pinocchio. P-I-N-O-C-C-H-I-O. -C -C -I Jiminy Cricket, yes. No physical challenges just yet. Gee, in what country would you find the Parthenon? Greece. 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 Yes, it is Greece. Two hundred twenty-five dollars for the gadgets. Uh, the Redskins haven't had a chance to speak much. <laughs> Hi, gang. How are you? I'm doing fine. Don't mind if you watch. <laughs> no, you just watch over there. See what's happening. What uh, were the names of the villains in the old Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoon series? Dare. Now worth. Uh, Fifty dollars. What were the names of the villains in the old Rocky? Boris and, and Natasha. Yes, it is Boris and Natasha. Fifty dollars for the Redskins. Finally got some money over here. Boris and Natasha. What's uh, inside a Mexican jumping bean that causes it to jump? Is it a beetle nest egg? Is it a moth larva? Or is it a little guy named Paco? <laughs> it's worth twenty-five dollars, or you could dare them. I'd love to go to a physical challenge, but uh, I need an answer. Dare. All right, now worth 50. What's inside a Mexican jumping bean? Is it a, a beetle nest egg? Is it a moth larva? Or is it a little guy named Paco? Beetle nest egg. Or you could double dare them back. Could you repeat? Sure. That? What's inside a Mexican jumping bean that causes it to jump? A beetle nest egg, a moth larva, or a little guy named Paco? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 100. You're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Oh, good. Uh, it's a, mo a moth larva. A little moth moth larva. And we have a, a $100 physical challenge for somebody. And this is what it's all about, right, Jaleel? Yeah. This is where you want to be. Exactly. Oh, good. Um, I tell you what, I think you would look real good standing over there next to Robin. And I like this young... Go ahead. Yeah, you go over there standing... And i like you to come over here with me because we have some jello. And I know, you know, on this show, we're not allowed to say jello because they're not happy about the way we, uh, we use their product, they tell us. So don't... What is this stuff? It's green stuff. Yeah, green stuff. And, and it looks like what? It looks like green stuff. Yeah, it looks like jello, doesn't it? And uh, anyway, watch this. We have this hammer, and you've got to hit the jello over there and catch it just like that. Looks pretty easy, right? Yeah. Yeah, but we're not going to make it easy for you. Could you put that uh, helmet on your uh, head, please, uh, Jaleel? And uh, when I say go, you must put the jello over there and slam it so it goes flying in that direction. Now, Jaleel, you can start right here. And after we start up, you can go as far forward or back as you want, but you must catch one little cube of jello in your head. All right? Okay. okay. Now when you eat jello, isn't it more fun to put oh say whipped cream on it? No. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> so if it does land up there and we hope it does, you run over here and you stand right here. All right? And then your partner will run right over here and pull on this cord and all that whipped cream will come down. Tell me if he comes in here. Uh, oh, I'll, believe me, I'll I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll be the first. 30 seconds on the clock and we have uh, $100 at stake. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> Right there, holy macro.
Let's move up here and let's play some uh, family double there. Four seconds remaining. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's what this man came to Florida for, right? I like this stuff, man. What'd you say? I like this stuff. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. You have $150. And that sound means it's the end of round one with 225. Welcome back. It's round two on Family Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound, that means the game is over. Now, we have a, a reference book. It's the Directory of All Primetime TV Series. Uh, what's it say there, Robin? Mr. Adams and Eve. Who's, who did it star? Who did it star? Ida Lupino. And? Howard Duff. And its first telecast win? Uh, January 4th, 1957. See, I knew I wasn't stupid. There it was. All right, I remember that show. We are uh, <laughs> going to carry on and try and get $50 to one team. How do we do that? Well, we have some lovely uh, beehive uh, hairdos. And who'd you say this looked like, Candace? B-52. Yes, it does. And when we say go, we're going to try and get these hair bands around these beautiful hairdos. And the way we do that is by these families tossing these rings. Now, when we say go, folks, you can uh, bend down uh, with your heads down uh, as much as you'd like. Uh, we'd like to see $50 won by some team. Who's it going to be? Let's find out together. On your mark. Get set. Go! Nice. We are uh, going to carry on now. We have $200 for... Uh... <laughs> oh, Jaleel is crazy. He says we're back in control. He loves that. All right, we're going to carry on in this round. Looking for Family Double Dare in here. We were on Fox at one time, weren't we? There it is. Family Double Dare, yes. Anyway, uh, you have control and you can take the lead on this question. What TV comedy took place at Stalag 13 under the command of Colonel Klink? Well, you could dare them. Hogan's Heroes. Yes, it is Hogan's Heroes. And they have come from behind. The Redskins have the lead. Control of this question. What actor starred in five of the top ten money-making films of all time? It's worth $50. We're in round two, or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $100. What actor starred in five of the top ten money-making films of all time, or you could double dare them back? Double dare. Want to uh, answer, or you want to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. <laughs> You'll know when I tell you. It's Harrison Ford. All three Star Wars uh, and the first two Indiana Jones. $200 physical challenge for all four of you. I need all four of you right over here. Join me if you would. Don't be afraid. Don't be timid. You look like you would uh, love to sit down right now. Are you tired? You're not tired? No. Oh, well, I'd like you to sit down anyway. I'd like the three of you to go over in that direction. We're going to sit this man down, and we are going to start off with some balloons. And when I say go, we're going to take these balloons and uh, make them uh, break. Well, how do you do that? You put them on a plunger. And when I say go, you have an easy job. All you have to do is take this balloon and put it on the plunger. And then you, sir, will be standing in this area. You can never leave this area until your wife comes to you. Right over here, please. And she will try to get that balloon to land right there on that plunger. And then you must take it and drop it where? Oh, in this area, because there's a little uh, device in there that will break that balloon, and the liquid will fall where? Right there on this gentleman's head. Okay? Now, you must do four balloons in 30 seconds, all right? After you get the balloon, you come back and hold it in this area, hold the plunger, and then she'll come over and meet you. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Go! side of the stage. That brings them up to 425. Nice try, Redskins. It looks easy, but uh, boy, you find out quickly that it is not. And with $50 uh, on this question, you could go all the way up to 475 gadgets. In what faraway land did Gulliver encounter a group of tiny people? It's worth 50 or you could dare them. 
Need an answer. Lily put? Yes, it is Lily put. That is the answer. Lily put. 475. With his imitation Elvis sneer, what spike haired singer croons Rock the Cradle? It's worth $50. Billy Idol. Billy Idol is right. An answer that Candace knew right away. Tell me, what popular R&B group did Bobby Brown sing with before he went solo? Was it New Edition, was it First Edition, or was it New York Times Late Edition? New Edition. Yes, you're right. 575 now for the gadgets. Still 250 for the Redskins. Round two. Phrenology is the study of the bumps of what part of the human body? Skull. 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 Well, yeah, head. That's right. The head. The head. All that. Yeah, we got it. The head is it. Phrenology. 625 now for the gadgets. How many square feet are in an acre? One of those questions that you. Four. <laughs> if they know this, folks, I'm, I'm leaving the stage. There. Dare them, okay. Dare. They're not too sure. Now it's worth 100. How many square feet are in an acre? Double dare. Now worth 200? Oh, the answer is 43,560. That sound means it's the end of the game. And with $625, the Gadgets have won today's game of Family Double Dare. You're going to be taking that money with you, and Candace Cameron will join you on the Family Double Dare obstacle course. We have to say goodbye to the Redskins. A nice try there. It came down to that balloon toss, and it was a little tough. You get $250, and I just have a feeling we're going to see Jaleel over on the uh, obstacle course. But uh, before we do that, Harvey, let's give them some uh, lovely party gifts, huh? Sketchers are fun, too. Welcome to the Family Double Dare Obstacle Course. We are here at Lake Double Dare. And Jaleel, I know that you didn't uh, end up on the winning family, but we couldn't see you go away without uh, participating in the obstacle course. How do you feel about that? Oh, I'm really ecstatic. I'm oh. ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You need to get a little more excited about things. Uh, when, when we say go, you'll dive in this boat, and you'll go all the way across and see where that flag is. I want you to grab that, have it in your hand. And Harvey, what's prize number one? Mark, it's from Pier 1 Imports. It's this white willow picnic basket, complete with colorful linens and plastic picnic wear. Make your next family outing a special event. Number two is inside out. There's an orange flag in there somewhere. Now, you're an attorney, right? Yes, sir. You'll have to negotiate a way to get that out of there. The best way is to either use your nails or you can bite it, but to find it quickly and win this quickly. Monterey Foosball Soccer. Bring the excitement of soccer into your home with Monterey's Foosball Soccer. Fast action fun for the whole family with Monterey. Everyone plays. Mats and the Belfry is number three. That's for Candace. Now, do you have this much fun on uh, the set of Full House? No, this is, this is very fun. Yeah, I bet it is. Don't get messy over there. Although I've heard some stories about what goes on with Bob and some <laughs> of the other folks. You have to find the flag. It's in one of those buckets, and you pull on the cord. It'll drop down maybe the first time, hopefully uh, the, by the second time. And once you do that, you'll win this for the family. It's a bowling package. Columbia Supreme Bowling Package features gold dot pearlized bowling balls made of 100% urethane for maximum performance from Columbia 300. <laughs> Have some gumdrops in the toe jam today. How old are you? Twelve. Twelve. Very good. So, uh, you ever watch this program? Yes. Yeah. And what's your favorite obstacle? Do you have one? To toe jam. Is it really? Oh, good. Well, you get to get down on your knees and uh, find the flag. You can separate the toes this way. Dig your hand deep down in there. Find the flag, and uh, once you do it, you can pass it. And Harvey, what's uh, this prize? It's a Yamaha keyboard this time, Mark. From Yamaha, the new PSR 28 with 49 full-size keys, 100 exciting instrument sounds, chord sequencer, and keyboard percussion. Tell me, you were a writer. What kind of things do you write? Feature stories, education stories. Uh... That's great. Do you teach school as well? Yes. Busy lady? Yes. Ah, well, you're going to be very busy in a matter of moments because the hamster wheel is number five. You will jump in here and you will walk up this wall. And as you continue to walk up, these lights will begin to light up. And as it hits the number six, that boxing glove will come down. Your husband will grab that flag. And here's the prize for this one. It's the new Konak of ZUP80 RC, equipped with a power zoom lens that lets you shift from wide angle to telephoto lens in a snap. And it features a new remote control switch. Soda Jerk is number six. Now, do you like a grape, orange, or cola? 
My wife doesn't care what kind of jerk I am. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I don't think you're a jerk at all. I want you to find the flag, and the way you do that is you step on this pedal perhaps first, maybe this one or that one. As soon as you find the right one, a flag will drop down in one of these. Gosh, where is it? I don't know, but as soon as they find it, they'll win this. A great CD audio system. It's a Yorks CD audio system featuring digital tuning, a dual cassette deck, turntable, graphic equalizer, and remote control. Yorks, the sound investment. Rudy, could you get a shot? Uh, we have a post-nasal drip today. And what did you say to that, Candace? That is really disgusting. <laughs> this is watch out! Oh, my goodness. Oh, we, <laughs> we blew the nose there today, Candace. <laughs> what I want you to do, though, is find that flag. You do that by reaching up in one of those nostrils, and you try and find it as quickly as you can. And once you do that, you'll win this. <laughs> Zenith's 27-inch TV. Zenith delivers state-of-the-art electronics with this high-style 27-inch receiver monitor. TV features stereo surround sound and digital audio for the best in sight and sound. This is the Wikes, and when you get over in this neck of the woods, you jump onto this thing and you move all the way to the other end. Now, once you get to this side, this thing will... Whoa! This is getting crazy over here. I tell you what, I don't know if I'm going to go just yet, but when you get to the other side, you'll find a flag, and when you do, you'll win this prize! A pair! like because we're all set to start on the family double dare obstacle course audience cheer them on on your mark get set go